Hey guys, Kelsey Smith here with Smith Ridge. As you can see behind me, we've got three inches or so of snow here in Northwest Arkansas. It's been quiet and beautiful and all snowy and also a lot of extra work. <laughs> if you have livestock or really animals of any kind, you know that when the weather gets cold and frigid like it has been here, that animals become a little more work. Um, we've had negative degree temperatures here, which is pretty abnormal um, for us in our region. Um, doesn't happen very often. So of course, that is the weekend or the time that our cow would come down with mastitis. <laughs> and I, I mean really the luck. And so I wanted to share with you guys how we've um, cleared up mastitis for the second time actually um, without any antibiotics. And so the first time I, the first time happened right after she capped and it was um, a little bit surprising. Um, we'd never, we were relatively inexperienced with a cow in in milk and so she calved september 21st and literally the next day the calf just wasn't really drinking enough and she was so engorged oh my goodness i think i have a few pictures i'll try to find those um and share those with you so she got very engorged just that that next day after having her calf and um then this time i treated it the same way this time that she was fine and temperatures dropped and um, she came down with mastitis the next morning. I can't help but wonder if it had something to do with the temperatures or something to do with um, like maybe that that really dramatic change in temp. Um, I'm not really sure. I also put my horse and donkey out with her in her, um, her pen. So it is possible that the horse maybe kicked her or something. I am not sure the cause of, of this um, round, but Anyways, I treated it the same way. So here is what we did to treat mastitis um, naturally. First off, frequent milkings. I mean like three times a day, um, four times a day. You really can't milk her out enough. So get all the milk out. And that's we, what we typically will do is milk with the machine and then also hand milk out just every drip, every drop that you can get out. Um, and then the second thing is vitamin E. Um, you can hear her bellowing in the barn. I've got to, I've got to go check waters. I just got back in um, from milking and coming back out to finish taking care of water. So anyways, you'll have to excuse that. Um, the second thing is vitamin E. You can get that in a powdered form or you can do um, an, a um, oral, like it's a gel. Basically, you put the tube in their mouth and put that in, in there. Um, it's a or a probiotic so that's what i did this time was orally the probiotic um with a uh, vitamin e or you last time what i did was the vitamin e powder that i put on her food and that just gave her the boost that she needed to naturally heal um she was seriously so engorged that first day um she so let's see we milked on a Thursday evening and then the Friday morning she was just very swollen um udders and noticeably discomfort uncomfortable discomfortable um uncomfortable and so we really started by just you know get right to it get her milk down and then go back out and milk her down again and so that's very important to do and then the vitamin E is the second thing third thing is putting her up um it with lots of hay just making sure she has the nutrients and the fresh water that she needs obviously I mean our animals are well taken care of anyway ways but just giving them that little extra bit tidbit of attention to detail I really think of it like how how would I treat um, or how would I approach healing um, a sickness with my kids or myself um, and so think about if a person got mastitis how would we address that and, and kind of go about it a similar way something else that we do to kind of help her out is also um, warm or cold compression on her udders just to give her relief um, whenever they were really red and engulfed um, um, engorged, engorged. I clearly can't talk. I wasn't planning on doing this video. It was kind of just obviously um, kind of thrown together in last minute here because it was on my mind. I really wish that I would have um, taken some videos of 
what she what her milk looked like because I do I did bring that in and filter it and just kind of kept an eye on it to see to to really see was she getting better or worse and so what I what I noticed um or what you'll notice if your cow has mastitis is that there are kind of buttery looking lumps um that come through the filter and you'll also notice that the filter gets clogged quite easily so as you're running your milk through you typically you can fill up um you know you do all of your milk with one filter but whenever she had mastitis um you would the the filter would clog so I would be draining that and the filter would have milk just sitting there it wouldn't pass through because it was so clogged with um just kind of this mucusy looking um kind of buttery thick clumps um and even the slightest bit of clump we still said nope this isn't safe for our family to consume um or obviously of course our customers too and so we wait until she's completely cleared out and um, with that milk we just dump it out our dogs do tend to lap some of it up but um we don't pour it into bowls for them whenever the cow has mastitis just i don't know what that would do to their stomachs and i really don't want to find out so we just we milked we checked through a filter and dumped milk checked through a filter dumped um over and over again this is the longest the first time we cleared it up in two days the second time she had mastitis we cleared it up in uh this is day three and a half so it took a little longer this time um but she is completely cleared up and i just wanted to share this with you because i wish that i could find something else online that was like look you don't have to jump right to antibiotics because if you google it um if you youtube it uh, you know antibiotics antibiotics we just try to not go that route if we can help it but of course i i i I definitely um, can appreciate the um, role that antibiotics play in in healing, um, especially you know severe cases. But um, in these cases, this was I think they call it clinical. I, I call it like early onset, where it's just not very extreme. Know your animal, know their behavior and what their udder looks like, what um, their typical behavior is, and you'll be able to catch it early enough on that you can clear it up um, without resorting to any kind of extreme measures. So. I hope this helps and I hope your cow never gets mastitis, but if she does, um, just don't freak out. You've got this. Stay diligent. Keep an eye on your animal um, and I'm sure that you can clear it up naturally as well.